On March 6th, deputies were called to this home on Pleasant View Road in Levering. Amber Smith told investigators that she called 911 after she had found her home broken into. But after searching the ransacked home, police also found her fiance, Trenton Mallory, dead with a gunshot wound to the head. Uh, Ms. Smith lived at the residence with Mr. Mallory. Uh, it was a girlfriend fiance type of relationship. According to court records in the weeks leading up to Mallory's death, Smith had put a gun up for sale on Craigslist and Facebook. But after the murder, the gun was found buried in a snowbank at Smith's relative's house. After investigators removed the weapon, they saw Smith digging through the pile trying to find it. We've done our investigation. We've collected our evidence. A person has been arrested and now it goes to uh, the courts and uh, they'll determine whether she's guilty or not. Court records also show that Smith and Mallory were having financial problems. A car had been repossessed, their home was foreclosed on, and Smith had occurred $25,000 of gambling debt that she kept a secret. But their biggest bills came from the hospitals. It was all experimental medicine, so it was, you know, everything had to be paid for by us. You know, insurance companies don't want to foot a bill that is an FDA approved. Back on November 27th of 2013, Amber Smith told us the story of her six-year-old child, who at the time was having health problems after a heart transplant. Maybe he was put here to teach the world a lesson that, you know, if he can go through all of this and be happy, then what are we all complaining about?